hi guys welcome back to my channel how are you all doing hope you are good hope you are fine as for me i am okay yeah i just want to come on here to run today there have been this controversial topic i've been going on on social media i've been seeing it over a while on youtube on instagram on facebook on twitter everywhere literally everywhere on the internet and it's been <laughs> it's been annoying me so I just want to come on here to rant. I want to say what is in my mind, okay? There is this comparison between Nigeria and Ghana. Yesterday I was scrolling through Instagram and I saw this post of Ghana now having free visa to UAE. And I was like, you don't say. <laughs> so most back, Nigeria was banned from entering UAE. Yes, Nigeria was banned from entering UAE and a few weeks ago the ban was lifted and yesterday Ghana was given free pass to UAE. A few months back, Nigeria was going crazy. Everyone on Twitter was going crazy because um Twitter decided to take their their um to have an office in Ghana. They were like, Nigeria has more population. Nigeria population on Twitter are more than those in Ghana. Why should they take um, Twitter to Ghana? You know, all of that stuff. A lot of um, controversies was going on on internet because of the whole Twitter issue. Put yourself in their shoe. You want to invest your company. You want to open your company in another, in another country. You have to choose between no matter what. You will always go for the peaceful country. Nigeria is not peaceful. I have friends who um who I have Nigerian friends who base in Ghana and there is this particular one I do chat with every now and then and I've always asked her when do you plan relocating back to Nigeria with your family and she was she always she always say go for B like she doesn't say no we are not coming back she always tell me go for B that Nigeria is not a place to bring up kids no electricity that Nigeria is <laughs> she she always you know complain you know naming counting the faults in this country she had never admitted for one day that oh she might you know come back to stay she always tell me that the only thing i will bring up to nigeria is probably to visit her family her parents you know her siblings her loved ones that's the only thing i will bring her home and she's not the only one that i've heard this from i have friends all over the world thankfully i got to meet via youtube i've had conversations with them and none of them seems to meet to miss this country none of them seems to miss this country the only thing i hear them talk about they miss about this country is food or their family <laughs> their loved ones i mean yet you will still see people coming on on social media to fight nigeria is better nigeria is better this country is not peaceful to start with people are not ready to trade their peace for nothing Nigeria is going backward every day. There is nothing working in this country. Nigeria is literally going backward every day. Things are becoming worse. Like, even walking on the street is no longer safe in this country. Before you know it, if it's not um, Funami Hesmen, it's Boko Haram. If it's not Boko Haram, it's SAS. Oh, okay, they have changed their name to, um, what was that? If I remember, I put it on the screen. They'll just shoot that they just keep people like every day we hear bad news in this country. There is no day that passes by without bad news, news of people, you know, being shot or being killed. There is even another group that we sent we, that we recently started hearing about. That's them um, unknown gold men. They have killed a lot of people in the east. Every day, bad news is going on in this country. And I can't say that I I, I, I have never been to Ghana, but I have you know i have interacted with people who have been there who live there even currently and to be honest the country seems to be safe and there's this one that i've, that I've been hearing rumor though i don't know if it's true i don't know please let me know if it's true i've been hearing rumor that um ghana have more electricity than nigeria i don't know if it's true like i said please let me know in the comment section if that is true you will hear a lot of people say oh nigeria has more population than ghana Ghana's population is not even up to half compared to that of Nigeria. Yes, we are not disputing that fact. Of a true, Nigeria has more population, even that of land mass. But then again, Nigeria is one of the richest country in Africa, if not the richest country in Africa. So it is expected that with the riches, with the wealth, you know, the country shouldn't lack this much. The country shouldn't be in the state it is right now we are deprived of the basic amenities 
health, um, job opportunities, security, literally nothing is working in this country. Ghana on the other hand are improving by the day. Things are getting better by the day. Nigeria things are getting worse. Things are getting worse in this country by the day. Every country has its bad side. But it becomes a problem when the bad side is bigger than the good things. You all should stop the whole comparison. It's not, it's, 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 it's not even worth conversing, conversing about. It's not worth having a conversation on. I remember a few, about a year ago, thereabouts, I don't know if it's even up to a year ago, when they were put, protesting against the whole SARS ish. A lot of people, a lot of celebrities that, you know, you know, voiced out, you know, took it to another level, like voiced out for real. The government are looking for most of them. Most of them, their accounts were frozen. And <laughs> see, people don't even have freedom of speech in this country. And only the government is not the issue here. I know we, the citizens, contribute to this as well. Like we also have a role to play in this hope we have going on in this country. Like we have roles to play. But governments have more role to play in making this country better because at the end of the day, 50% of the reasons the citizens of this country behave the way they do is as a result of unavailability of anything. The only thing helping to put this country on the map positive-wise is Afrobeats. Like our musicians are really going all the way out. Like they are really, really, really trying. They are doing extraordinarily well and we are really proud of them that is the only thing helping put this country on the map positive wise like i said every other thing that this country is known for is most likely negativity i know we are hustlers i know we are hard-working people nigerians work hard like a lot anywhere you see them you recognize them like they work hard how i wish the country you know um encourages them how i wish the country help make their situation better this country will make you crazy anyone living in this country is literally surviving so yeah i just want to bring this on here okay this whole comparison need to stop gone are those days when this comparison was relevant it's no longer relevant okay gone are those days when the country when this whole conversation when this whole comparison was relevant it's no longer relevant it is unhealthy okay so yeah i will stop here i'm sorry if my rant came off offensive but see this thing has got to be said like this thing has got to be said it is what it is okay so if you haven't subscribed do that right away thumbs up to my video and see you in my next one Bye-bye. Bye-bye.